taking the temperature of the water. You are hot. If it's lower than 10 degrees, we don't feed them. Oh, you think they need more food when it's cold, not less, wouldn't you? I've seen a bit. Oh, no. Oh, what a mess. They're dead. Every one of them. One thing's for sure. This didn't sprout legs and jump in. Someone's this on purpose, love. No. Could well, I just found on top of my wardrobe? Kerplunk. It's like bumping into an old friend. You need to get out while you do. No, Owen, oh, wait! You burst in the middle of the wall! Think it's funny, do you? Yeah, yeah I'm doing nothing! Owen, oh, please, I just burst in here. Please calm down, Owen. Owen. Calling the police. Yeah, go and call them. You can tell them why I killed my fish. What are you doing? A lot of them! Dead! Poisoned! It's all down to you two. Oh, she's lying, it's obvious. She's not. Well, she's lied about everything else. Tyrone was there when the doctor broke the news. He can't let her trap him like this. I mean, he can't... His life will be over. I don't think he sees it like that. Tell me he's not up for the idea. He's confused. T, this has been a massive shock to him. I need to see him. Where whoa, is whoa, it? Whoa, he's at the hospital. Right, we need to get down there. Come on. T, stay put, will no, you? She's going to talk him round, Tommy. I don't think she will. Not this time. He's seen what she's like. There's no way he's going to fall for all that bull again. No way. It's a mess! The pond will have to be emptied, cleaned! I don't know how we'll do it. I mean, how do you get shot a crease so? Well, it's not to do with me. Oh, me? All the work I've done completely ruined by a pair of spiteful... You can't just burst in here and start accusing him. I'm gonna have to buy new plants, new fish. Have you any idea how much this stuff costs? Look, we haven't gone anywhere near your pond. You know, but the worst thing about it is the cruelty. Now, all right, you know, we might have done stuff, like played practical jokes and that, but we won't kill all. I apologise. It wasn't me! Well, you got until tomorrow, all right? I want an apology and I want you to reimburse me for all the money I've lost. No chance. And you better dig deep, because it's going to cost a lot more than 300 quid. Look, this has gone far enough. They said they didn't do it and I believe them. Yeah, well, I don't. Oh, come on, Owen, maybe we, we better go. Tomorrow, I want an apology and the money, otherwise I'll go to the police and the RSPCA. Ah, oh, here we go, ding dong, round two. I'm not here to fight. Oh, well, that's the first. No, I'm done, actually, Steve, so just write me another cheque and we'll call it quits. <coughs> oh, for... It's a pen, not a bayonet. You could have had me eye out with that. Grow up. I won't put anything past you. Oh, here, stop beating your gums and pay up. No, you've had your chance. Why do you have to be such an absolute pain in the... You want any more money out of me, you'll have to fight me for it in court. Excuse me, can you tell me where Kirsty is? Kirsty's home. She was in that bed there. If you give me a minute, I can go and find out for you. Oh, there you are. I didn't know where you'd gone. I went to another department for a couple of tests. Oh, I thought something bad had happened. I thought I'd never see you again. Yeah, sorry about that. I was just a bit. I oh, know. I can't blame you for legging it. Shock, that's all. Me too. You know this is what I've always wanted. A family, I mean. You know, that's all that really matters, but... I know. You want children, just not with me. <laughs> Can't say I blame you. I didn't say that. It's complicated. We've just split up. This is the last thing we need. Tell me about it. I always thought I'd have children one day, but... not so soon, and certainly not like this. There is one thing I'm sure of, though. I I can't, you know, I couldn't get rid of it. No, no, I wouldn't expect it's it. It's yours. And if this baby turns out to be even half as lovely as you are... Misery is as misery does. Think on. What are you, fortune cookie? Mother, would you stop speaking in riddles? I am just saying that her face is putting off the customers. Mr. Sausage, two iced fingers, go easy on the butter, ran out of here like his backside was on fire. Maybe it was. You do seem a, a little subdued. 
Not subdued. It's just my thinking face. Well, I hope you're not wasting time pondering past follies when you have much bigger fish to fry. Translation, please, Royston. Well, if, if, if I've not mistaken, I, I believe Mother is referring to your friend, Danny. What about him? Well, he's very presentable, good prospects, ample head of hair, lovely teeth, and if I'm not much mistaken, rather sweet on you. I should so go out with him, shouldn't I? Tyrone, it's me, Tina, again. Um, you give me a ring when you get this. OK, bye. She's going to think you're as weird as she is. Well, we can't just let her talk him round. I mean, come on, I can't do much, can I? You better get to the hospital, try and talk some sense into him. Thank you. All oh, right, give me back. Nope. <laughs> Tommy. Sit up. Careful. <laughs> Look, if you want, I'll go to the hospital and see if you can find Tyrone. But only if you promise to get some sleep. <laughs> it's just... I'm a bit, you know... Like last night, every time I dropped off, I had this dream that I was back in the car with her coming after us. Yeah, are you safe now? So tired. I'm like aching over. Well, what about Tyrone? Uh, you. Uh, uh, as soon as you sleep. Okay. You right? I hate the thought that you have it in you to look me in the eye all sincere and lie to me just like Molly did. Please don't compare me to her. She was unfaithful. I'd never do that to you. Never. My trouble is I love you too much. I let my jealousy get the better of me. But I know I, I can change. I don't see how. I suppose if we did have a child together, feel safe, secure, that there'd be no need to be jealous then. Ty, we can make this work. I know we can. We'd be so happy together. You, me, and our baby. This is just too much. I can't think straight. I'm sorry, Anna. Tyrone. There she is. Oh. He, they couldn't tell her one way or the other. They, there's not much to see yet. <laughs> Time is amazing. I could see his little heartbeat. A little life that we've created. You and me. Let them speak to you. Captivate you. Oh, she's smitten. Go on. Jump into Ireland. Visit discoverireland.com. Now then, savings bonds are a great way to get a better rate. But if you need to get your hands on your money, it's not always easy to reach. Look, he's having a problem there. Good, sensible pair of shoes, cardigan, cute dog. I bet your grand's loving this, isn't she? But with Barclays' 18-month flexible bond, you can actually access some of your savings without being charged. Nice shot. Yeah, looks like fun, but one of them's going to have to sweep that up. Probably the dog. Take one small step and search Barclays Flexible Bonds. Good morning. Good morning. This week, there's double savings at Dreams in our biggest ever sale. You save not once, but twice, giving you over 60% off thousands of bets. There's nothing to pay till summer, and there's free credit on everything too. Plus, with three for two on all bedroom furniture and free delivery, at Dreams, you'll find comfortably more for comfortably less. Save twice with double savings in our biggest ever sale, only at Dreams. Oh, really? Oh, dear. Sorry to hear that. Hello, Barry Grindel. A little meerkat tell me you buy car insurance through comparesamarket.com. Hmm? Yeah. Well, congratulations. Here is your cuddly reward. It's a mini me. He may molt a bit. To get exclusive meerkat toy, buy insurance through comparesamarket.com. Simple. Inside tomorrow's Daily Mirror, get a free lottery game card with two lines to play on Saturday's draw. You could win big, only with tomorrow's Daily Mirror.
We've got ten hours. What are we, miracle workers? Look, where is he before it's too late? Well, you did your best, but you got nothing. We'll have to give evidence. You're asking us to risk everything. The new series of Law and Order continues after Coronation Street. Coronation Street is sponsored by Harvey's. Feel good furniture. Wow. Women. Your know, missus giving you the run around. My ex. Like some out of a flipping horror movie. <clears throat> it's a bit harsh. You know that moment where you think you've defeated the monster and then it springs back to life and comes at you and rips your head off. <laughs> oh, that's scary, is she? Well, I beg to differ, my friend. I beg to differ. Becky. Hi, are you all right? Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm sorry. I thought you said that you would text if you could oh, make yeah. it. Oh, um, yeah. I just thought I'd surprise you. But, you know, if you're busy, I can always come back later. Hurry up, Daddy! Go back in. I won't be a minute. I'm just going to go. Becky. I knew you were too good to be true. I flipping knew it. Becky! How did your practice session go? Oh, uh, brilliantly. <laughs> really? Oh, it was wonderful. My heart soars at the thought of it. Norris was lost in the music, caught up in the magic of it, at one in the universe. <laughs> it was then that I had a moment of exquisite clarity when I realised that Norris was channeling the spirit of Franz Liszt. Sounded more like Les Dawson to me. Yep. You, you, you heard me practicing. You nearly shattered both my eardrums. Uh, ah, no, no, I, I know what happened. <laughs> you must have heard me running through me warm-up session. Yeah, you was doing a bit of improv, weren't you, Norris? <laughs> What's it about in that glorified caravan all you like? It's a deluxe motorhome, if you don't mind. Much more luxurious than a pokey flat above a greasy spoon. I have the accomplished Milton on my side, my secret weapon. Well, it's hardly a secret, is it? You've told the world and it's dull. Therefore, I have not the shadow of a doubt that I shall emerge victorious. Well, tell him to hurry up and freeze in. Don't start. Whatever you're going to say, Becky, just save please. it, because I'm telling you, You've mate, I've heard it, it all wrong. before. Go back to wifey before I lamp you. She's my sister. Lying. Why would I? And the boy? My son, Billy. Well, then why don't you tell Come me in and meet him. Son? Come on. I hate this place. <sighs> no one likes hospitals, mate. Brings it all back to me. Night of the tram crash. <laughs> Was it static when Jack pulled through? I thought, I've lost Molly, but I've still got him. I've still got my boy. Doesn't do to dwell on these things, Ty. Then I met Kirsty and I thought, this is it. Suddenly I've got a life again, a future. You don't still feel something for her, do you? After everything she's done. But you think I'm stupid? No, but I don't. Who knows? She made you off here once, maybe she could do it again. Yeah, and she's promised me she could change. Yeah? Yeah. She really loves me. She loves me. And now we're having a baby. Look, you go for it, mate. Do you think? Yeah. She makes you happy. Hey, yeah. give Becky a break. You haven't given her a minute since she got here. Can I get go on, kick on? Go on then. <sighs> that little boy is so cute. Makes off his dad, don't you think? <laughs> <laughs> so why didn't you tell me about him? I feel dead stupid now. Oh, I just I didn't want to scare you off. I mean, the number of women have legged it the moment they found out I was a dad. I just wanted you to get to know me first. But he's your boy. He comes a package, surely. Yeah, of course, but not it's easy like that. And his mum's not around, and so well, I'm all he's got. Well, I think he could have done a lot worse. You're brilliant with him. You never want a kiss of your own? Uh, 
Long story, not happy ending. Love and be Diddy Kong. Oh, brilliant. I've always wanted to be Diddy Kong when I figure out what that means, but I warn you, Billy Boy, I'm going to thrash you. If you could have any man and keep him in a cupboard at home, who would you have? Amber Gascoigne. Who? Why, who would you have? Jason Isaacs. I like him, craggy me. And I'd never get bored of looking at them tattoos. Has he got tattoos? In my fantasies, he has. Piercings and all. Oh, girls, get a move on. I want to lock up. I bet you want to get Frank alone in the stock room, don't you? Have your wicked way with him. I might. What's it to you? Did you see her face? Silly girl. I wanted to do that all day. You too. Look, do you want to come over tonight? I could cook you some dinner and you could stay if you wanted. Oh, my mum has not put you off, has she? Don't be daft. I know what it's like to be on the receiving end of one of her looks. I've had a lifetime of them. <laughs> uh, Frank, I'd love to. It's just... I'm worried about leaving Sophie on her own. She needs her mum. I'll tell you what, I'll go home, spend a bit of time with her, and if she's OK... Well, are you sure? I certainly am. There you go, love. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, uh, Sylvia, we, we, we don't want to publicly humiliate you, so if you feel like pulling out of the competition, we'll fully understand. Oh, no, no, I thrive on competition. <laughs> I was captain of the hockey team at school. That's when I bullied off. Our opposition were quaking in their boots. <laughs> oh, Roy. Yes, sir, uh, mother. You can buy me a drink if you don't mind. I will take it as part payment for what you owe me. I don't owe you anything. Oh, yes, you do. I checked my wages and you underpaid me. Oh. So, you admit it? It was a deduction. Really? For what? To pay for your phone calls to Milton. I work my fingers to the bone for a measly remuneration and this is what I get. He does live in America and you do call him at least once a day. Cost mount up. I am a pensioner. I cannot afford to pay for phone calls to America. Neither can I, I'm afraid deeply disappointed that you begrudge your mother a few fragments of happiness in the twilight of her life. Obviously, I've outstayed my welcome. Perhaps I should move out, set up camp in a wigwam on the Red Wreck. You're getting things out of proportion as usual. Shall I order you a drink? No, thank you. It would choke me. Looks like your secret weapon has been annihilated. You know, I, I suddenly feel a a renewed sense of purpose. I, I, I'm positively bursting with vim and vigour. To the motor home? To the motor home. I know you're convinced it were David and Kylie. It's obvious. They were shocked when you told them what happened. Love, they were putting it on. Who else would it be? That pond's been one big joke to them. Couldn't wait to wreck it. Well, I thought they seemed pretty genuine. Hi, you love. Hey, did you have a nice time at Poppy's? It were all right. My mum's cooking's terrible, though. Oh. Um, listen, very sweetheart, we've had a bit of bad news. What is it? Well, there's nothing for you to worry about. It's just that somebody's done something very nasty to us. And, well, they've spoiled Owen's pond. Spoiled it? How? They've put something in the water. Sort of paint. And it's killed all the fish. That's horrible. Mm -hmm. It was it? We don't know for sure. Oh, I'm sorry, Owen. No, I know you are, love. I'll tell you what, why don't you go upstairs, have a nice bath, and then we'll sit down together in a bit and do some reading. OK. Don't worry about your fish, Owen. They'll probably be in fish heaven by now, swimming around all happy and everything. Tommy? No, it's me. Tommy's gone for a pint. Right, I've left you like a gazillion messages. Please tell me that crazy cow ain't taught you. You've got to be kidding me. I know I'm the last person you want to see, but. Yeah, too right. What should it be, Nick? Tell me she's come round to pick the rest of her stuff up, and, and then she's going to do one. We've talked it through, and we've decided we're going to give it a go. You 
making a huge mistake, Ty. We're really happy about the baby and everything. I just want to say I'm really sorry. <laughs> well, that's all right, then. The way I behaved was unforgivable, I know that, but I hope in time you... Oh, save it for the investigation. What? I've reported you for harassment. See, Ty might be uh, a pushover, but I'm not. Sorry, it wasn't much of a date. Oh, don't be daft. I enjoyed every minute. So you were saying um, Billy's mum's not around anymore? Yeah, just me and Billy boy now. Still sees him though, right? Uh, no, um, I'm afraid not, because... Unbelievable. How any woman could leave a gorgeous little lad like that is shocking. Actually, um, his mum's dead. Me and my big fat humongous gob, I am so sorry. It's, it's fine, honestly. Vicky, she was my wife, um, was in a car accident, so... So sad. Yeah. It was over three years ago now, but, uh, I think he's over the worst. A little lad like that losing his mum so young, though. Well, they should still have each other. And, you know, he wasn't planned, but I can honestly say he's the best thing that's ever happened to me. Oh, yeah, he's the right little cutie. You're really lucky. Yeah, I know. Best mates, me and Billy. <laughs> so, uh, what, you wanted kids, but it just never happened? Well, it won't for want of trying, Danny, I can promise you that, but it um, turns out I can't have them. Simple as that. It's a shame. You'd have been a great mum. I've had my chance for a while, any road. Oh, yeah? And... Well, um, I looked after my sister's little boy, Maxie, for a bit. And uh, my ex's daughter, Amy. I love the bones of them two kids. But um, they're back with the real mums now. They were never really mine. But I'm over that now. What's done is done. Moving on, tough as old boots, me. Yeah. But you're sweet with her. I'm sweet. Mm -hmm. Well, I have been called some things in my time, but that is a new one for we. I can see right through you. You know that song that goes, um, I get knocked down. Bye, Bye, again. Again. You're never yeah, gonna keep yeah, it that's down. mine and Billy's theme tune. That's not. It's mine. That's it, man. My career will be over. I'm finished. Good. You should have thought about that before you started picking on me. You was just as bad. You've been horrible to Kirsty too. Making me out to be the bad guy again. You've got a very short memory, Tyrone. Kirsty's admitted she's made mistakes. Why can't you just do the same and drop this whole harassment thing? She nearly ran us off the road. That isn't a mistake. That's an act of a mad woman. She could have killed us, Tyrone. Well, we wouldn't have crashed if you'd have just pulled over. What? Why the hell should I? She was chasing us for absolutely no reason whatsoever. You put us in danger. You could have killed my unborn child. Oh, but it's not even yours. You know, she could tell you anything and you're stupid enough to believe it. I feel sorry for you, Tyrone. Honestly, I, I really do. You're so desperate to recapture your past. Don't no, say no, that. You are so desperate to get back everything you had with Molly that you put up with anything. I'm sorry, I shouldn't have come back. You're going nowhere. This is your home now. Our family home. Right. That's me. I'm out of here. But you're not well. You, you shouldn't even be walking. Why oh, you care? At least wait a few days until you're a bit stronger. She's trapped you, mate. And you're so sad and pathetic that you can't even see it. I don't like it. Nobody likes it. Then let's not do it. If this man dies and it comes out, we could have saved him. How does that make us look? Who cares how it looks? Time is of the essence. The brand new series of Law & Order UK continues next.